So now we know we can do a get and we can actually pull out all our things. And the reason I'm writing things here is pretty much just because I have something in my database actually called things, which contains a list of things. So that's why we use the name and each thing has a name and some information. Now we want to create one of these things now. So we want to make a new thing inside our things collection. Sorry about the things, but that's what we're doing right now. Might change it later. So what I want to do is I, instead of getting reading things, I want to actually start posting a thing. So that's actually a create in the CRUD setup. So to do that, I need to start out. If you notice here from the get, this guy's grayed out, but as soon as I change it to a post, it's um, lined up so I can actually start using it. And if I go into raw, I can actually say, I want to send something to our um, backend, our server. In our case, we want to send JSON. Now, as soon as I set JSON here, notice a header is added called content type of application JSON. That's required for my server to know what what the envelope or the body inside the envelope contains. So this way I explain to the server, you're getting something from this from this client, which right now is uh, Postman, and what you're getting is JSON. So now you can use it to do whatever you do. I don't know what that is, but you know it. And here I'll paste in, in my case, just some simple JSON. So it's just a curly bracket. The first property is the name. And again, I'm just taking it from down here so I know it should be a name. And then I just say my first thing. I do a comma to say there's another property coming in and that's going to be info and life is awesome. So this is how I'm going to post this to the server. Explain that now I want the server to create a new thing for me. I do the send, but I'm getting a security response saying you got an error. CSRF token is missing. This is complex. So I don't want to, I don't want to explain it to you, but I want to show you if you want to figure out what it is, you can go into, uh, I just kind of Google it, but it's about cross site request forgery. So you can read this article if you want to do it, if you want to read about what this is. Instead, we're going to disable it now. We don't want it in our current application. We can get it back later. It's important for real life application, but for our test environment, it's not that important. So we're going to disable it now. So now we have to touch some code. And if we go into the code, we have the course planner, it has the server folder, it has a config folder under that, and then it has a file called Express.js. This is where Express is being set up. So here we have all the configuration for our Express environment. Remember the Express is the E of the mean stack, and it can do a lot of things. I don't wanna get into that right now, but I wanna find the line called line 56, where it says, CSRF. So if it's not line uh, 56, you can just search for this line right here. Just search for CSRF. Now we want to comment it out. And the way you do that in JavaScript is just by saying front slash star and then end it again with a star front slash. Now it's commented out. I do a save and I'll just show you something. As soon as I do the save, since we're working with grunt here and something called no bun in the back end, I think, it actually restarts the server for me. If you remember one of the first courses where I showed you Node, I had to manually restart the server all the time. That's not the case anymore. Every time I do a code change, the server will just be restarted automatically. That's really powerful for us. Now the server is restarted, let's see if we can now actually post our new thing. And yes, we get a response back saying a new thing has been added. This is the ID for our new thing. Let's see if it's actually there in the list. So I'll do a get here and do a send and happy days. Thing is down here in the bottom, the last one. Can I actually also just get this very single new thing that I created? Of course you can. You just use your REST API with the get request with an ID and now you'll only get that one thing back. That's perfect. What else does it mean? Well, it means if you go to your local host and you do a refresh, You'll actually see the thing is already here.